everyone, this is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And today I thought I'd uh, just talk with you a little bit. And uh, first thing I want to ask you is, do you like everything to be easy? Um, if you do, homesteading probably isn't for you. Uh, do you uh, like everything being delivered and easy to get to? Um, then homesteading and self-reliance probably isn't for you. And the reason I'm bringing this up <clears throat> is I think uh, trying to be self-sufficient and doing homesteading is actually something for the future that's going to be good for those who do it and those who don't do it are going to be in a world of hurt if things happen the way they could happen. <clears throat> I think the main thing is uh, inflation is going to be incredible. Food is going to be tougher to get. And being more self-sufficient um, is a good way to go. The other thing is uh, if you want to be left alone, uh, you can't avoid it completely. The government's got their fingers and everything. But generally, if you could get out in the country a bit, uh, and be around a lot of uh, uh, same thinking kind of people uh, you'll find the community to be uh, quite independent of the trends in the city but is it easy? it's not um, just for example Sherry and I Sherry was off work for quite a while so we we're gaining ground really fast on the five acres we got but now she's back to work and she pretty much had to because the old realities of life is we needed health insurance and we're not quite at the age to get anything else right now. So uh, that means I lost my partner in crime during the days. Uh, and alongside that I have my own marketing business and things that I got to take care of um, in radio stations. And uh, so... Uh, uh, I don't get as much time out here as I want to get projects done. And two, a lot of my projects are much easier with two people helping. Um, you probably have noticed that with our greenhouse. Uh, our greenhouse is going very slow compared to when we built the chicken house and chicken coop and the hoop house there. Uh, those went up quick. But uh, finding the time to... Uh, well, some of the projects on the greenhouse definitely need two people. So we pretty much only are able to work on it in the weekends. But the other thing is, every day there's something here to work on. Every day there's something to fix. Every day there's something that we're working on to be more self-reliant. The biggest things on our uh, plate right now is beginning to think about our gardening. Getting our garden room ready. Getting our greenhouse done. Uh, now we got to think about getting more soil in here because we don't have that good of soil so we need to amend our soil. All that stuff costs money. Uh, at the same time we uh, want the house to be uh, more self-sufficient at least we, uh, we lose our utilities. Uh, so we put a pellet stove in and we're having some electrical work done. Once again that all takes money. And uh, just a lot of work and when you have a lot of acreage uh, you know, I can turn you around here, you can see uh, we have the results of fall and spring. Uh, we're going to have to clean up the garden beds, we're going to have to start fertilizing the grass that we do have, and uh, uh, start amending uh, the other uh, flower beds and stuff. <coughs> it's a lot of work. Uh, not to mention what's really hard on us is we have a house here full of a lot of, of um, our folks stuff that we need to sell off to make room for me and Sherry and so we also have that on our plate where we have to uh, find a way to sell this stuff and of course the funds all go to uh, Sherry's mother so that just makes this more difficult and harder so uh, being um, older too <laughs> You can't get projects done quite as quickly as you uh, could before. 
um, maybe I need to hustle more, maybe I, uh, there's a lot of the things I could be doing. Uh, like instead of making this video, I should be working on the greenhouse. But uh, my point is, is if you want an easy escape, but you want the benefits of uh, freedom, uh, the benefits of being self-reliant, uh, if you think it's easy, it's not. And I, I want to give you the heads up of just knowing that you have a lot of work to do. Um, but it's healthy. It's good. I mean, uh, it keeps you young <laughs> until you're old. And then it keeps you older. Uh, and uh, you're going to get your hands dirty. And fashion and style are the last things on your mind. I can tell you that for sure. Uh, equipment and tools is really what's on your mind all the time. Hey, when the Christmas and birthdays come, you think about really cool things like video games, things like that? Heck no. Uh, I think about chainsaws and you think about something for the garden and uh, flowers and plants and seeds and things like that. Your priorities change. Once again, I think it's a good change. But, um, uh, uh, for those who want to make the change, I just want to give you a heads up that be ready to hustle. Be ready to learn new things. Be ready to uh, uh, increase your skills. Be ready to learn how to use certain uh, equipment. Learn how to use certain uh, systems. Learn the fundamentals of growing things. Learning the fundamentals of your climate. Um, it's a lot of amazing stuff, and it's a lot of fun to learn, but it's work. Every part of it's work. Gardens require work. Um, animals require work. Um, when you have animals, those animals depend on you. You cannot slack off. Uh, vacations totally change. Your free time taken off for a weekend. Um, everything you do now is like, well, if I leave, will everything be watered? Will everything be, uh, uh, all the animals be fed? Will everybody be okay? Um, yeah, it's incredible. And by the way, the other thing is watering systems, um, modifications to, uh, each time you add more gardens, the more water you need, um, backup systems, you know, if you want to be self-reliant, you also need to have backup systems on water, and backup systems on electricity, backup systems for your freezers and refrigerator, uh, backup systems for heat and utilities, just in case you don't have them. Do I say do this for sh if shit hits the fan? No. I'm saying this because a lot of things happen. In the different places you live, um, you guys could have a lot of... Uh, uh, hurricanes, uh, tornadoes, earthquakes, those things would set you back. And if you weren't prepped up a little bit and a little more self-reliant, um, you could be in a world of hurt. And I think our future is going to have a world of hurt in it. Um, I'm not predicting it. I'm just, the cards are laid out on the table. I'm just waiting for them to be turned over and it's going to be ugly. Um, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, you can make it nice. Uh, learning to be self-sufficient, having, being away from the cities and stuff like that. Uh, you also got to remember when you're away from the cities and all that stuff, everything's harder there too. Going to the store is a big event. Uh, getting equipment, getting lumber, all those things is another big event. And uh, so you just, you know, what kind of vehicles you have, whether you have a tractor or lawnmowers and things like that. Um, you're going to need all that stuff, and uh, you're going to have to be patient. If you get your property, get your uh, new uh, homestead, you may find that some of your projects will go real slow. And, uh, and that's okay. And if you're young, not a problem. Um, but uh, Sherry and I have accomplished a lot in six months. It's hard to believe that we've only started this project in... Um, Oh, actually it's been about nine months, uh, but we got, you know, a new roof on the house, a new siding on the house, got chicken pins done, the greenhouse is working, compost bins, uh, fixed a lot of equipment, um, 
appliances that we've had to rework, getting a pond to work, um, fixing equipment that was already here that needed uh, some attention. Um, we've accomplished a lot. And we've taken care of uh, some uh, uh, objects and project uh, um, things that are here that aren't ours that we're trying to get rid of. And some of it goes to family and some of it doesn't. It's really, uh, uh, it's really confusing because there's, there's so much stuff here that we need to sell. We're doing a estate sale this uh, spring to thin it out even more. And you actually get more room for our equipment, more room for our garage. Actually unload some of the boxes of, of our own personal uh, <laughs> items that we haven't had a chance to do yet. It's been uh, hard. So once again, getting back to the point of the video. Uh, just giving you a heads up that things are going to be tough, but it's worth it. Um, just the feeling you have every night when you go to bed, knowing that all these things you accomplished, um, self-worth, being more independent, when emergencies happen, you're ready, when you can't get to the stores and stuff, we've always got food, and uh, it's a good feeling. So, uh, I hope it was a good talk. Love to hear your comments below. I would like to ask you guys to hit the like like button, please. And uh, please take the time to subscribe to our channels or um, like our Facebook pages. We'd appreciate it. And until next time, be safe. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.